All right, I'm about to stop. About to stop. Stop. Okay, bro. You scratch her and she keeps, she just doesn't stop. She just wants more and more and more. Girl, enough. Fix my titty real quick. I decided I'm going to buy me some pasties, but I really like the way natural titties look in a shirt. Like I was looking at this girl earlier today. I'm sorry, my hair is all frizzy. But I was looking at this girl earlier today. And I was like, she has some really nice tits. Like, she had no bra on. I was like, that's so sexy. And I'm like, it's so much sexier than, than freaking, um, it's so much sexier than, um, listen. If you are a stoner, get you some matte lipsticks and things like that. Um, that way, you don't mess up the blunt and it doesn't get on the blunt and things like that. But like lip gloss and stuff, you messing up the blunt and it's just annoying. Or like the little creamy lipsticks and stuff, just be annoying. My hair is all sweated out right now. So I got my nails done and my toes. I'm gonna show you my toes because I'll be showing y'all when they look crusty. I got my toes done. And that's what I came here to talk to you guys about. So the girls, me and the girls, okay, the girls and me, the girls and I, we've been really upset about the beauty industry right like we've been really upset about the beauty industry especially those of us who had grew up getting going to like getting our beauty rituals done and things like that right so not everybody but some of us was raised with a parent who took us to the shop a lot right so like i'm the only child so my mom was paying a lot for me to get my hair done things like that mainly this was an only child sport if you was an only child a lot of times you will go with your parent your mom your mom will ha you will have mommy and daughter day and you guys will go get pampered so you either get your nails done or you go get your your hair did right um I hardly saw girls with siblings, like your siblings and things like that, doing that because it was a. I felt like my mom just had a little extra money left over because she only had one child compared to having two. Because my cousins didn't get their hair done, their mama did it, did their hair. My mom pretty much did my hair majority of the time, but we was going to the shop sometimes too like the shot was a very big a part of my ritual same with you know same with getting my toes done but then back in the day getting your getting a pedicure was ten dollars okay and then it went up to twenty dollars and so i'm used to a twenty dollar pedicure but now they're like thirty five forty dollars for a pedicure it's crazy but it's crazy let me continue because it's crazy so I got acrylics, I got a full set, and I got my toes doing right? That shit cost me $100. All I got was regular polish. Mind you, acrylics used to cost $25. Now that shit is $60. Okay? Then they charge you more. They charge you extra for getting, for, for your cuticles. They don't even do your cuticles. Then they charge you an extra $5 for, for cutting your nail. Like, the things you're supposed to be doing, the, the, I'm literally paying you to do, to take care of my hand, to take care of my nails. And literally, it's not, get, I'm not getting any of those things, but I'm paying at these high ass prices for less than what I received when the prices was cheap. It's the same thing with beauticians now. You have to wash your own hair. You have to trim your own ends. You got to do all of these things. And if they, if you want them to do it, they charge in extra. Every time you turn around, $7, $10, and all these things for these little services when I'm literally paying for you to take care of my hair. And so I was like, you know, I was looking at how they do the nails. And I really am for sure wanting to go back. I'm going to invest in doing my own nails um i do like acrylics like i do like i like this look 
I like this look. Um, I like the style. I wouldn't. I also wouldn't mind it being my natural nails. Um, I might go be just go. Like I really did, cause I had canceled my nail appointment the other day, cause I was like, I'm gonna just buy the nail polish and things like that. Like I'd rather go buy the top coat. You know what I mean? Like buy the top coat, the base coat, the top coat, and do my shit myself. And then eventually, especially when I have my, and the, the only reason, the only thing that's holding me up from that is just the fact that I don't have my own space. So I can't like lay things out and keep it organized in a spot. Like I don't really have no space here, right? And I'm in the middle of moving, getting ready to move and things like that. So those things, so it's kind of hard right now. So I was like, okay, I'm going to just invest because I really needed my toes done. She didn't massage me. She didn't scrub my foot. She didn't do nothing. $35. I did not tip. Because my the, the price was too much anyway. It was no massage chair. None of those things. None of it. And so, you know... The reason why I'm getting all of these things, okay, so there's two things going on around in this world, right? So a lot of women, there's a lot of rhetoric, like I've been telling you, there's a lot of rhetoric around women telling other women they need to look a certain type of way in order to attract and to allure and to attain a husband, right? I'm not doing any of those things for that reason. That is the least of my worries right now, right? I gotta get to the bag. And so what I've learned is that for me, in order for me to tap into my bag and tap into my abundance, I have to invest in my beauty. The reason why I have to invest in my beauty is because I am heading towards and getting into and entering into sex work. And so sex workers have to keep their maintenance and their beauty up times 10 because for their clientele and for them selling an uh, illusion, right? And so a lot of pointers and a lot of tips and tools that people are giving you that are women telling you this is how you get this type of man and stuff like that. Those are work, those are tips and tools for sex work, okay? So if I want, as a sex worker, if I want and I'm doing escort services, say, say for instance, you're doing escort services. If I'm doing escort services and I want to attain high paying clientele so that I'm, so that I could charge really you know I could charge my prices could be very expensive because I have a, 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 a rich clientele then I'm going to do all the things that Miss Sprinkle Sprinkle has said right I'm going to make sure that I look really good I'm going to make sure my body is looking really nice and tight right I'm going to make sure that I have the dress and all of the things I'm going to make sure that I go and find out all the places that they go I'm going to make sure that I look good in those places and things like that because I'm looking for the clientele So be careful with some of the tips because you might be putting yourself into a situation of sex work and not genuinely getting your true love. And so... I decided today to invest in my beauty and things like that. Cause I need to get get more into my looks. Like I wanna go get me some concealer now. Cause I wanna I think I wanna do like concealer up under here. Like really just lighten my eyes up. That's really where my problem area is. Um maybe like lighten this up i saw this girl i saw how she did her concealer like she just put it like little places here she put some like here and i think i guess like your t-zone in this area right and then she put some here and i think she put like a little and then she just rubbing in so there are improvements to my beauty that i am going to be indulging in but it's because of me getting to the shmoney now what i have noticed just from my little bit of an experiment that i have done just 
the other day like I wore the other day I wore a dress <clears throat> I had my hair like this and things like that and I wore a dress now the only thing I have not added to my my makeup just yet is lashes right so I've still been doing like the natural lashes my lashes it's hard to see on camera you know on camera you know in pictures and things like that I always look bald headed at the eye but when you see me in person you pretty much see just how long my lashes are and it's more in your face right so but just with just wearing a dress and having my hair like this one thing that i noticed is that my money increased so when i did uber the other day so the other day i did uber i only did like i picked up four people i did four trips and within those four trips, I made like seventy dollars, um, like seventy something dollars, right? And mainly it was because of the last trip. The last one, it was I made like almost thirty dollars from that trip. I made thirty dollars from that trip, and that was because I took him from. Actually, I made way more than that, um, but getting back into it, I um, took him. I drove him from Pasadena all the way to, to Westlake Hills, right? So from Pasadena, Pasadena is closer to like downtown Silver Lake and shit like that, right? Like you go from like Echo Park and shit into Pasadena. So Pasadena is on this side. All the way on the other side of town is uh, is the valley, right? So you got like the beach and then you got like, you going even further into it. So it was like a cool little... It was a good little drive that I drove, right? And so the thing about long distance driving um, is that I have a rental. So the thing about me renting, so with the long distance driving, it's like I could still make me some money with long distance, but if I had the car for 24 hours, it would, I wouldn't mind doing that compared to having it for like five hours. I have to hurry up and get all the way back to the other side of town and so because i have to hurry up and get back to the other side of town i can't make money coming from wherever far location you are to getting back to a local area that i'm in right so that big distance i'm missing out on money especially if it takes me like an hour to get to your to get back right so that's the only thing about that but you do you get good money for for those distance um for those distant drives, right? Because like twenty five dollars compared to accepting a four dollar ride, an eight dollar ride. Now those eight dollar, nine dollar rides, them usually the perfect. Those are the perfect ones. They usually like me from Hollywood going to down here or some shit like that, or downtown to down here. Hi, mama. But anyways, I got more tips. I, it feels like on that day, I got more tips um, and things like that. And I, I noticed that I have more people who kind of had like a production jobs and things like that. Um, however, I did get harassed. And... And yeah, but I was not in the mood to be trying to run or nothing like that. So, being on the train is a little bit of a difference because it kind of makes me a little bit more vulnerable with a dress on. But nonetheless, a dress, a skirt, I'm still, if I got to book it, I'm going to book it. But sometimes looking beautiful while I'm taking the train sometimes it's more more of a safety issue and that's why i don't mind down all the way down playing my looks okay all the way looking bummy um but now that i'm in the money making energy beauty increases your finances that's what i will say and so i wanted to talk about the Queen of Wands versus the High Priestess, right? So I told you that next year, a lot of us is stepping into, is coming from being a Queen of Wands and stepping into our High Priestess energy. And I've talked about in before in another reading, I mean, in another video, 
altar sometime this summer. I told you, I said the high priest, the thing, the difference between the high priestess and the empress is that the high priestess sees the vision. She sees it. She knows it's coming. She knows it's going to be true. She just doesn't know how it's going to manifest itself, right? Whereas the empress, it has already manifested and she is just enjoying it now. She is living in the present moment of that manifestation. But the high priestess is the one who is dreaming of it and seeing it and knowing what she has to do in order for it to be manifested the queen of wands is right before she knows that it's true the queen of wands is still in that discovery phase right she hasn't gotten the clear vision and the reason why we become a high priest is because we have the clear vision and we just know what we have to do and the steps we have to take but before then you're the queen of wands so you're open to all possibilities you're like there's so many things that I can imagine. You're like, maybe I could be, you know, it's like, um, it's again like the movie Wish, right? And all these people have all these different whimsical wishes, right? And the king was like, no, that's stupid. You need to come up with a different wish. I'm not making that true, right? Where she's like, no, everybody's wish should be true. There's so many endless wishes, right? And people are like, well, if you want me to be a wish, I want to be able to snorkel, you know, do snorkeling with a snorkel with a with a shark, right? And so the Queen of Wands is in that inner. She's like, ooh, I like that was so sorry go back so for me make it easier to explain so for myself two years ago right 2022 in 2022 i was peak queen of wands energy wanderless lost confidently lost right the song by S sabrina claudio right um i am confidently lost I don't need you to find me. You don't define me. Yeah. Right? You, we were just lost. We were a wanderer. We were just wandering around the forest. We didn't have no destination. We didn't have we didn't leave no breadcrumbs or no trail back to, to find our way back home. None of those things. We was like, oh, look at there. We were Dora the Explorer. Okay. We were exploring all of our options, all of the possibilities. In 2022, I was like, I want to live on a boat. I want to have a time where I live in a van. I want to live here. I want to do this. I don't know what I want to do. I don't know where I want to go. I don't know what direction I want to go. I don't know what I want to be. I don't know if I want to be an artist. I could paint. Maybe I'll open up a store. I don't know. I don't know if I want to do oil painting. I don't know if I want to do acrylics. I don't know if I want to get into fashion designing. I don't know. I'm just dibbling and dabbling and enjoying life and exploring, right? So if you're walking into a field, you're picking up all the wild flowers. You don't know what you want to do with the wild flowers. You just like the wild flowers are beautiful, so you just got to pick it. You don't know what you want to do. You know, you see apples, you see oranges. You don't know if you want to make jam. You don't know any of those things. You don't. You didn't come there with a concrete plan. You didn't come there like, I'm coming to this trail to go pick these strawberries because I'm about to go make me some strawberry jam. And so first I need to pick the strawberries. So I'm just going to go. The strawberries is located over this in this axis. So I'm over here. I'm going to map my, out my trail to go pick to the strawberries. I'm going to find the strawberries. And then I, I bring in my basket with me. All of the things, right? You have a concrete plan. You're ready to go. The queen, of, that, the queen of Wands is like, I'm, I just want to just explore this hill right here. It looks cute. I don't know. I just kind of, it just looks like it's fun. I feel the vibes. I'm just going to go. Um, how long is the, is the trail? I don't know. I don't know how long it is. I don't know what to expect. I, I don't know nothing. I don't know if I brought the right stuff. I don't know what the weather is going to be like. I don't know if I'm going to be there all night. I don't know. I'm just going to go explore it because I just, I'm bored. I don't know. I just want to do it. It's just what I want to do. I just feel called to do it. You're, you're looking in awe and wander of, of the deer, of the animals. You're looking at the shrubbery. You're looking at the rocks. You're looking at the trail. You're looking at the waterfall. You're you're shocked that there's a river. Like, you don't know anything. You're just having a good time just exploring. You're picking up a stick. You're using the walking sticks, you know, because you're getting tired. But you sit down. You want to rest for a little bit, but you don't mind. You're like, oh, I don't have this, this, that, and the third. Oh, I don't have um a tent i don't have any extra foods i don't have any of those things but who cares if i gotta starve for two days i'm gonna just starve for two days because this is just about the journey i'm just going to enjoy it 
there's no destination there's no nothing i just want to see if it's there and if i get tired right here and i turn back and want to turn back and go back home i could do that too it was whatever right so that's the queen of wands i didn't know what i wanted to do in 2022 i i didn't know <laughs> i didn't know i didn't know who what i wanted to do i didn't know where i wanted to be i didn't know nothing okay i was just all i knew was just that i was spiraling and i was just lost and i was just so so just i didn't know how to make a movement i was just stuck and i was just in a rut i didn't know all i knew was to press record that's all i knew I, that's all i knew <laughs> was to press record on here right but other than that i didn't know if i wanted to paint i didn't know if i wanted to you know what i mean i just saw all of these possibilities and i just felt like i could do it all if i want to but i don't know how i could do it all and i don't know how it will make sense i just know i just grabbed a whole bunch of things right it's like if you go thrift shopping you just went into the thrift shop and you just bought a whole bunch of stuff and you go home and you see all the pieces that you got you're like this is cool and then as time goes you then start making pieces you start making outfits and things like that but you never went in there with an outfit in mind you only went in there just to see what they had right so that's the queen of wands that's how she approaches life now the thing about the queen of wands and this is where the issue that spirit has told me this is the negative attributes of the queen of wands the queen of wands is very very talented she's very brilliant she's very all of the things right however however she does not she does not see it all the way through Sometimes she has an issue seeing everything all the way through. And sometimes she could get stuck in just the wanders. In just the, ooh, I could have, I could do this, I could do that, I could do that, right? She has a want, she has a list of ideas, but she doesn't step into it. The moment that she decides to step into something, the moment she decides that this is the direction I'm going into, and I'm gonna still continue to keep my wander, but I'm, I, it's making more sense. Is the the dots are now connecting? That is the moment she becomes the high priestess. But she could, but if she doesn't want to, to set the plans in motion, then she stays the queen of wands. A lot of times, Pisces, Piscean women sometimes could be are very notorious for being queen of wands. They have a lot of ideas. They have a lot of ideas, but a lot of times it don't make sense. A lot of times it's imaginative, imaginative, and a lot of times she doesn't take the steps to actually make it happen. They had a homegirl. She talked about this video, music video concept she had for her. I think she wanted, I don't know if she wanted to do it for an album, but she wanted to do it for a song. And I was like, okay, tell me the vision. We're driving. She's driving. I'm in the passenger seat. Ah, shit. We, she starts telling me the vision of the song. We're, we're listening to the song. We're in the car. We're listening to her song. She's telling the vision of the music video that she wanted to get into. So I'm like, okay, I got you. I was following her. I'm like, okay, this is doable. This is doable. Okay, she just got to do her hair. Maybe this color. You know, she just got to get her, her uniform and hairstyle, which she already got. So it's going to look good on her. Okay, she need, just need to find nature. Okay, but, she, you know, that's easy. You can find that. Okay, that's good. She, you know, she could find how the video, we need a video, but her boyfriend does the camera and shit like that, so she can get that going. Boom, boom, boom. I'm seeing the vision. I'm seeing the vision. Then she started saying a leprechaun popped up. That's when she lost me. I said, all right, friend. Like, you had me, but now with the leprechaun and you in the forest and you getting lost and you here, 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 I got lost. But it still could be done. <laughs> we just need a leprechaun costume. It could be done. But it never got done. It only stayed in the dream. It only stayed in her in her imagination. She never made a concrete plan to her. She never started looking for this. She didn't make a list. She didn't do anything. All she did was keep it in here. Eventually, it'll start to change. Eventually, it'll start to do this, do that, and third, right? Just the same, like I said, in the movie Wish. In the movie Wish, the pre the the prince, the king was like, none of y'all are making these things happy. Y'all just wanted to magically happy. Y'all got these wishes, but y'all not making no concrete plan to make it happen. But y'all looking for me to make your things magically come true. It don't work like that, right? It's the same thing with God. God is like, you know, you say you want to do all of these things, that and the third, but you're not making concrete things and actions to make it happen. You just want me to magically drop it into your life and it don't work like that but if i see you make it active act 
actual steps, I'm going to bring it together for you. It can happen because the vision is there. I'm thirsty and I'm looking for water. I'm trying to think, do I want to run and get some? I think, yeah, let's go. We're going to go. I'm not going to leave my phone up here. You want to listen to my family? Yeah. It's okay. I'm proud of y'all. They were quiet. <laughs> proud. I like the way you Spirit don't be a no hater, speak no evil against nobody. And eradicate being a hater. Don't be hating on nobody. So getting back into it. So, yes, yeah, so the Queen of Wands, she has all of these things, right? And it's a thing about matter of her stepping into action. And that's what starts to create her to be a high priestess. Now, here's another caveat to the Queen of Wands. So the Queen of Wands is usually very focused on different things, on on all her interests and all the things, right? She she's very a well-rounded person. She has a assorted amount of knowledge about a talent, skills, and things like that, right? Very very talented, um, beautiful spirit, beautiful soul. However, these are women who are not. Ooh, hey. I'm thinking about getting a tattoo. And I don't know, because I really like my clean aesthetic, right? I like to be very clean. However, I do want one right here. I just want a tattoo right here. And, or I'm just, I think I'm going to try to get both the piercing and the thing, right? I had showed this dude my nipple. <laughs> I didn't show him my titty, and he said I could get a free piercing. <laughs> and he did really good work. And so he said I could get a piercing or a tattoo. And I said, okay. And so, if I give him a little kiss, maybe you <laughs> for the free. Got my maca powder. I want to get back into it, get my taking good care of myself. Getting back into my herbs and things like that. Because this whole year, I just have not. My body ain't had no ashwagandha this year, none of that. Okay. I hope y'all know I'm going to be more, even more extra just because I love the nails. Like, I just want to grab things. 
I really like the shape. Last year, this was the look that I wanted. This is kind of like a burgundy-ish black, but I love it. My mom's like, oh my God, there you go with black again. You're so dark. <laughs> I am the better. But anyways, getting back into it. So, yes. So the other thing about the high priestess is that she has everything that she needs, right? But for her, a lot of the defeat, a lot of reasons why she doesn't feel like she could get things off of the ground is because she lacks the funding. She lacks the money to, to make her dreams to reality, right? And so she's like, what is it? What is this missing piece? Like, I'm trying all my things. You said, you know, I got all the degrees, all the certifications to get this, that, and the third, but she's always having a hiccup, right? It's always just something where it's just like she can't get into, tap into the bag she's able to overcome the obstacles she's she endures she perseveres she has all of those type of qualities and and things within her within her character within her situ with, within life she could gain and strengthen those those characteristics those qualities of her however there's one thing that she is missing that she cannot get it from a wand into a pinnacle she's like why do i keep getting sticks and not the stone right why do i keep getting this stick why do i keep getting the branches but not the leaves growing on the branch right i could get a little leaf but i'm not getting the fruit why isn't these wands why these wands keep falling off of the off the tree what's what is it why am i not getting to the fruit the way that i want to right she set up the church she set up the nonprofit. she set up the this dad and there she had gotten all of those things together however she cannot step into the fruit of it the way she sees the vision she sees the vision of it being very successful she sees the vision of it making a lot of revenue for her but for some reason she cannot tap into it why not and so spirit said a lot of the reasons why a lot of you the missing link of what you guys are missing is your beauty the queen of wands neglects her beauty and so today spirit was showing me just she was, spirit was like you have everything you hit all the list but the only thing that you don't invest in is your beauty the only thing that you neglect is like your outer appearance you take you even take better care of your inner appearance than you do your outer appearance you don't say that and that's the last little part that's the thing that is holding you back it's that simple and i was like that's it they just want me to wear lashes? That's what's stopping the bag? It's the lashes? It's a extensions? That's it? That's what's stopping my business from growing? I just have to wear some fucking lashes? okay like you know what i mean she's like okay like <laughs> now you telling me <laughs> i done got all these certifications i done got all these degrees i done got all of this knowledge i done got all of this that and the third i done got all this equipment but the thing that is keeping it from success is the fact that i didn't wear some lip gloss is that it I didn't have to get another nothing. It was just that. And so it's like, yeah. <laughs> that's literally keeping you from it. And that's why it's business that this is the energy where you're going to be getting cute. You get to define that cuteness and you don't have to spin outrageous for that. We could we're the Queen of Wands. We could do this ourselves. I could do this by myself. I already do my own hair. Now I just got to go get back into investing into my hair. I'm like, okay, well, shit. I already was a natural girl, so I already know what products works. I already know what slicks my hair good, real good. I just needed to add a piece to the ponytail that I already do. Okay. I just need to... You know what I mean? Like, it's something, it's just something that's so small that is keeping us from the abundant. 
And we're so resistant for it because we try to be the feminists. The Queen of Wands is the feminist woman. She's the she's the, the girl's girl. She's the, I'm not even trying to be in competition. I'm not even caring about how I'm looking. <laughs> My hair, why does that matter? I'm getting good grades. Y'all said that that mattered. Okay, but the school is requiring this. Why do, why does it matter if I wear a dress or not? I don't understand what's this hoopla about. But it's like, that's how I get investors? That's how, okay, see, so y'all didn't tell me that. Y'all didn't tell me that. Y'all just showed, y'all just told me buy, wear this, that, and the third to allure a husband. Bro. That ain't nothing. <laughs> Getting the man ain't nothing. That's the least of my words. That's not gonna motivate me to get my hair done. That's not my <laughs> desirability for me. They gonna fuck you regardless. Oh, but it helps me with my business and my career. A man told me. A couple of weeks ago, he said, you're going to always have to pay for game. And I disagree. Because in the midst of him telling me that I will have to pay for game, he was telling me the game for free. Nobody knows what type of knowledge you need. That's why you just need to listen. He trying to charge, thinking I'm looking for this, that, and the third. I ain't looking for that type of information. But the information that I did look for is the information that you gave me for free. So, yes. I could get an investor. I could get this, I could get that. I could write proposals and grants, grant proposals and all of these things. Learn the skills of learning a grant. Take a grant writing class and all of the things. Or I could show my titties. And now I got an investor. Now I got the grant. Which one am I going to do? So I just saw this clip, right? I saw this clip of this class. And it said the teacher gave the the professor gave the class the option: you either do 15 seconds of a dance routine, or you do, or you have to write 15,000 words essay. Only one girl did the dance routine. She did amazing. 15 seconds. I said, if that was me, if a professor gave me that option, baby, I would cut a rug. Okay, I would cut a rug to do that, then to do the 15,000 words, writing, thinking, sentences, and all the things, right? I will take this one, this 15 seconds of uh, uh, looking f foolish, uh, looking silly for that, right? Think about that. All you had, to, all you have to do, you don't put all this, these hours, all this work, all of this counseling into your ministry, into your church, into your platform, into this, that, and the third, and all you have to do is just put some lashes on and a cheap ponytail. You ain't gotta spend the $2,000 at the beauty supply. No, you get you a $10 synthetic weave and you can put it, You that's all I gotta do. And it opens the world to me. You know, I've been wanting the piercing for the longest. But I've been like, oh, I wanna know, I've been telling people, I've been like, oh, I wanna nose piercing, I wanna nose piercing, I wanna nose piercing, blah, 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 blah. I'm thinking like, oh, I gotta remember to save, f f save and have money to go. I don't even know where to go to find one anymore. That would be good and cheap, blah, 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 Boom. All I did was just show the man a little, I just gave him five second video of a titty. And I'm gonna get a free piercing. Show him two titties, I might get a tattoo. <laughs> so you're telling me if all I gotta do is suffer one day and I could become a millionaire 
Am I gonna do it? That's the real truth. That's the real true story of the Ruth and Boaz. Work smarter, not harder. So as a queen of wands, your little cheap ass, you're going. You, I know you don't. You don't be thick. That's the last thing that is on your mind. Is my toes being done? Is that I shaved? Okay, sir, you want me to sh Okay, I'll shave. <laughs> right, like, we're so tired. We're like, wait, you want this shenanigans? Okay, and so that's what's happening. We're coming into the scene. We're coming into the scene. There's a new set of girls that are coming. Everybody's been asking for these new girls. The niggas been asking for these new girls, these new set of coochie. And we've been at a home. We've been the homebodies. And so now we're about to come out and we look good. And the reason why we're looking good and the reason why we're networking is not really because we're looking for a husband. So she's looking for a husband. Miss Queen of Wands, she's been, she's been invested in this since she was 16 years old. She has been wanting her husband to take care of her. This is the Queen of Pentacles. She wanted her husband to take care of her and continue to support and fund her beauty routines because they're very expensive. Okay. And if you want her to look that good, you know, beauty stuff, this took two hours of my time. And that's why we don't be going. Queen of Wands don't be going. Because she's like, you know what I could have did in that two hours? I could have made money in that two hours. I could have painted a piece. I could have did this and that. The reason why I didn't get my nails done is because I like to paint. And so the paint and the nails is just a lot. But because I love to paint, I love to paint my nails. So I'm going to make sure that I invest in the things so I can do my own nails next time. Just be having keys. Like they be having seven year olds. But like you will see them, like the kid come out of nowhere one day. You ain't never seen a kid in your life. You ain't seen a kid in two years. You seen a man every day. You ain't seen a kid in two years. And all of a sudden the kid pop up, the kid full grown and shit. You like the fuck? <laughs> from that's funny as hell so you know how we had that conversation about dating a guy with kids i don't think you you have really that much of a choice or that much of an option i think that you're going to have to do that regardless um i think a lot of us now are not going to be first baby mamas and i think we have to accept the fact that you're not the first baby mama however you could be the first wife Okay, you may not. So you take take how you how you can, right? I I'd rather just be the first wife because the first wife gets all the benefits, no matter what. The first wife, if he dies, the first wife gets pretty much all of it, not the second wife. So that's why you want to be the first and the only, but you want to for sure be the first wife, for sure, for sure. So, anyways, it was also. It could all be that simple, but we'd rather make it hard. Don't make it harder than it has to be. That's what Spirit has been telling me. That's what Spirit is telling you too, sweetie bums. We're going to have to now put time, put some time in our schedule and stuff for more beauty things. And it's going to be so much fun. Cause you love a project and so now you're yourself is your project and you love that you love a diy you love finding things to do so now incorporate beauty and seduction now sex sells and sex can get you far in life 
you need to make a decision for right now, just for right now. What are you going to do when it comes to your career? Are you going to spend time, wasting your time, trying to be a dependent to a man? Or are you going to use your seduction and your power to elevate yourself? So then, you could play with as many men as you want to. Because you have money. Again, there is nothing like your own. Have your own. You do not, he can provide all he wants. Nonetheless, you still need to have your own. I don't give a damn what, what he got going on. It's about me. If I need the world compliments that. Because the worst thing you could do is choose a man who is after your, dismi your demise. <coughs> Look at my girl Lee. The Queen of Wands is not a woman who is a dependent. That's why she just didn't, didn't really give a fuck about her beauty. She was like, what? Attraction allure. Getting a man to sleep with you, that's a given. She's naturally beautiful. The Queen of Wands, they're naturally beautiful. So she's like, that's nothing. And so, you know, we get your face here. I do like scratching. <laughs> Sound like an animal. I do like scratching. Touch me, tease me. Baby, I'm about to explode. But there's something that seduction could get to get for you more than modesty, more than being a prudish wife. Okay, more than being a cold-hearted bitch. Seduction. That's what we're aiming for. Seduction. You got it. Why you wanna get out of You gonna get to it When the nigga now with you, he wanna get down with you. And then cut some of this. Oh, that's sexy. Get it sexy. Boy, I yeah, super fat. I ain't lying. I can't do all this shit. I ain't lying. I was busy. But yeah. You have to use seduction as a business owner. Think about Samantha Jones. 
off the Sex in the City. Samantha Jones was always my favorite Sex in the City character. I always loved Samantha. Samantha was fabulous. You see, Carrie, Carrie was a queen of pinnacles. Carrie did not have it. She has, she has the, the, the things, but she was in so much debt. Yeah, she can make the money you pay the rent, but barely. Okay? Barely. Yes, she was amongst the socialites. But see, the thing was, Carrie was there because Samantha invited her. Samantha was there because Samantha was working. Samantha knew the men there. Carrie might do somebody else who was another plus, somebody else's plus one. But Samantha was working. She knew the men. She knew the women. She knew the event. She was, she was fabulous. She was, you know what I mean? She was in the mix. She was in the scene, but she was working. There's nothing better than being in the scene and getting the money. Okay? Samantha always had a man. The rich ones. She had the models. She had her mom. She had amazing sexual experiences. She got to the bag. The dick was still always there. It was always there. So there are two types of women you could be. There's four types of women you could be. be Miranda, Queen of Swords, you could be a Charlotte, a Queen of Cups, you could be a Carrie, a Queen of Pentacles, you could be a Queen of Wands, Samantha. But in order to be Samantha is when the Queen of Wands is ready to step into her High Priestess role. When she steps into her high priestess role, she is a fabulous woman. She is the one who invites the Queen of Pentacles. But she has to remember that she's much more of a friend to the Queen of Pentacles than the Queen of, Queen of Pentacles is to her. The Queen of Pentacles judges Samantha a lot. Carrie judged Samantha a lot. She disrespected Samantha a lot. But Samantha owned up to who she was. She loved. She loved the man. She loved men more than any of the girls there. The girls wanted to be dependent or take over and dominate. She didn't have man problems. She didn't have financial problems either. Samantha was never broke. Carrie was. Samantha lived, drove in town cars. Again, she was already at the event, waving at Carrie to come in. She was the one who put her on the list. But that's when she steps into her Queen of Pentacles. Is Samantha dressed like Miranda? She was not getting into those places. So it's a thin line between Samantha and Miranda. Both intelligent women. Very intelligent women. Very career driven women. But one is a lawyer. And one is into entertainment. And that's where I'm torn at. Because I am both women. I could be a queen of swords. When I'm in this, as a social worker, I am a queen of swords. That's a worker girl, too. It's a girl getting to the bag, too. Or I could be Samantha. And take it up a notch. And make sure I am never struggling and I am never overworked. And when I am working, I am partying. And I'm fabulous. And my office is fabulous. Okay? I interact with fabulous people. Okay? And all the things. 
fabulous. Not broken, struggling, not fake fabulous, but truly in its full authentic form, fabulous. Why would I want to pretend like I got it when I could do the work to actually have it? It's simple. I think a lot of us are going to be rearranging our archetypes to really thinking about what we want and how we want to maneuver and how we want to handle life. Some queen of cups girls, they're now about to be queen of swords. They're about to be some crazy bitches. Them emotions now have gotten out of control because you have not set boundaries with that girl. And then let her run amok. The Queen of Pentacles might be a Queen of Cups. She got she crying because she losing it all. She can the prices keep going up and up. She was barely making it before. Now the knockoff is even too much for her. She's about to have the blues. Oh, these bad bitches are about to have hit such deep depression. It's going to be really sad. But if she wasn't hanging out with you when she thought she was cute, if she was on the up and up, if she wasn't trying to level you up, that's, that soft story is not your problem. Do not let her attach herself to you. She'll just bring you down. You work too hard. You even got yourself out of your depression. It's her turn. And so with these new homebody girls coming out into the scene, but they're working too, they're getting the money. So you're falling in love with the girl who's escorting you to the back. And not the girl who got another nigga to pay for her to get in there. Or the girl who paid too much to get in there. And knowing she needed to pay rent. But she paid her last to get into the club instead. She ain't got no groceries in the house. But she in, but she in there. You dressed to the nine. When you get the one that's working there, you need to be prepared. To be a higher thing. Because that girl don't play. And she don't allow what the other one allow. The other one you have to act crazy. You act you could act crazy with because she is dependent upon you. This one is not dependent upon you. She has her own. Her own career path, her own dreams, her own goals, her own mission, her own purpose. Even if she ain't got her own money, she got some things she can use your money for. Hey, remember what Kevin Samuel said. Kevin Samuel said a man will go down on looks if the woman is, is you know, is providing other qualities, amazing qualities. So if you're prettier than her, but she has all these amazing things going on for herself, but you're just prettier than her, he will go and still choose her because of all of the qualities that she had. You being prettier than her does not make you the chosen one. And by whose standards are you prettier than her? You just being a hater. You know she cute.
I was watching this girl video yesterday and she a plus size stripper and she was just like so encouraging and like just being like get that beauty up girl get that beauty up and I was like period Like, I just felt like we was having a conversation personal and I was just watching her video. Yeah. I'm like, yes. Come on. Come through. Come on. Come through. Imagine my hair slick with some fresh gel. Bro. I'm about to twist this. I'm going to kill. Run around there. I'm dropping this down. And you're damn right, honey. You're damn right. Uh, I saw this girl. She had this too. Give me some more kinky curly weaves. You can always find that for good on a low. You could do, you could go as cheap as you want to with a kinky curly. Then you can with a straight. With straight hair, you kind of gotta do this. With the kinky curly. For a silver I'm not ashamed as Do a little I'm gonna shave my titties If it means I'm no longer broke No pain, no body No aging like that I'd rather show my titties For some silver That's a stripper anthem. I tell my kids that's the silver rights African American Star Spangled Banner. That's the U.S. Star Spangled Banner. I'd rather show my titties for that silver rainbow. They'll be like, damn, ma. I'm like, yeah, that's the truth. That's the truth of America. This is America. Nobody stop me. This is America. I am obsessed with my hands. 
it's a, it was a good investment because I really do have really nice hands and so I really have to invest but at the same time it's like I'd rather invest in me getting my own nail kit and getting all the getting all the materials getting all the things and learning how to do it my goddamn self then I could add that to my spot at to my Venus day I'm just high as this kite taking care of my body I'm doing my body right I do think beauty is a good way to check in with your body, though. Like, the more you get to your beauty, the more you will know about, like, how your body reacts to certain things. Because you'll start researching. And then only you can tell, yo. Only you can be happy. Then you can tell your body, you can tell, you can tell like what your body is, right? Like you be like, okay, like I got combination skin, I got this, that, and the third, so I know like I'm not gonna put this on my body. I know it reacts to this way, that way you become your own doctor. So and to take care of the skin is to take care of the body. So Our outer appearance is just as important as our inner. And so we as King Queen of Wands are so fixated on our character and who we are. And the inside, we do a lot of work on our inner compass and our, on our inner hearts that we neglect our outer appearance. And that's all you gotta do to get a 10 out of 10. To get the perfect score, you little perfectionist. So it's like you want to be a perfectionist so bad, then look here, bitch. Should so you want to be a perfectionist? Should you want to be a winner? Should you want to be a 10 out of 10? Get cute, look good. Same as a nigga. What does spirit say, especially for King of Pentacles, men, right? The thing for the Hierophant, the Hierophant dress is different than the King. You're going to have to step it up how you dress. You're a businessman now. The thing about it is that we want to be so stubborn. You know, you got to think about it. Jay-Z is now just looking like a bum. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, but Jay-Z just started just having like the naturals and the, and the twist and things like that, right? But back in the back, back days, remember he used to have his hair cut, used to be clean, and he wore the suits. See, Harvey just started playing with his, his looks, but he still looks very professional, right? Kevin Samuels told you niggas, you gotta look good the part. And so, uh, for a lot of us, the thing that's stopping our bag is is the, is that we keep choosing comfort because we're thinking we're we were so busy in the building phase. But a lot of us aren't in. The, we're leaving the building phase now. You didn't built it. Now it's starting to look like you attained it. Ooh, this feels so good. Ooh, I can't wait to wash my hair. So I'm gonna wash it like this, but this is what I read when I do it. Do it. I think I need like another. I can do it this weekend if I go to the beauty supply store. I can do my hair this weekend. I gotta look at the weather if it's gonna be hot again. 
it just seems like pressing my hair makes it even hotter than it needs to be because it's all that heat in my head in my follicles but yes yeah, step it up people step it up we are stepping into our hierophant and our high priestesses and so we are looking our best and so I am answering the calls of the sprinkles you see there's sparkles on me I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if you get to see my sparkles. You see my sparkles? There's sparkles of my thing. And so. Maybe you just want me to shake my boobs in front of the camera. Um, but, anyways. She looked at me in disgust. Like, you little boy. <laughs> I have mama, I gotta do what I gotta do. <laughs> mama, I gotta do what I gotta do. But anyways, um, I know my mother is going to look at me and just discuss. Like, you disgusting bitch. You chose to shake ass. You're damn right. You're damn stupid. I did. But anyways, <laughs> but ain't you tired, mother? Ain't you tired of taking care of me? <laughs> oh, oh shit. I'm catching things on fire. Okay, so anyway, um, ooh, my leg itches. I got all these damn mosquito bites. I don't know if it's mosquito or this tick bite, but it's like big as shit on my calf. To go. I think I made a wrong turn back this way. Ooh, yeah. 
I was listening to some R. Kelly songs and I was just thinking about how he stacks his vocals and how like it's just like each little part has soul like each part is like a part of the music like it's brilliant like he sounds like he, he could be a group or like an orchestra or like a, a choir but it's just him yes he does that sometimes too it's genius it's beautiful. brandy i heard do too I've been thinking about your girlfriend Holding my mom to you Cause God knows that I really didn't mean to hurt you I know it's about this but I don't think we should tell the truth I know the moment is the moment we got introduced it's time for a little secret to end Baby, I'm kidding with your girlfriend Baby, I'm kicking it with your girlfriend. Um, some of some folks' exes are gonna come back with some of that energy and some of that bullshit, right? Some of that. Um. Oh. I'm going to see if I can knock you off. You looking good. Let me knock you off with an old truth that happened back when we were dating. And you could be like, okay. <laughs> okay. I don't care. Right? Because you moved on. Now, if it was back in the day, then of course that the, the, the thing would have been devastating. But you're like, okay, whatever. Like, I don't fuck with neither one of y'all. So it doesn't matter. Right? Well, none of us is friends now. So... That's okay. It's about to be like very peak betrayal energy next year for toxic connections. So if you're still holding on to toxic connections, the shit gonna be fucked up next year. And so you're going to be getting a lot of I've been kicking it with your girlfriend. 
what am I gonna do? Cause God knows that I really didn't mean to hurt you. And they don't regret it. Okay? They enjoy sleeping around on you. It's your girlfriend. Are you with your best friend? Or oh, your humble. Whoever is the greater investment. <laughs> but that shit was toxic. So be your girlfriend. <laughs> hey, hey, you, you. I don't like your girlfriend. Go away, go away. Think you need a new one. Hey, hey, you, you, I should be your girlfriend. Hey, hey, you, you, I don't like your life. But yeah, Princess Mia Thermopolis, Princess of Genovia, Miss Queen of Wands, you are the Princess of Genovia, and you will soon be the Queen of Genovia, right? So you have to dress and look the part, my friend. And so does your Prince Charming. And so, a lot of us, we've been talking about that we come from a lineage of royalty and things like that. But, you know, we have been just like me in Thermopolis. We was with, we were being hippies. We was not caring about our beauty and our appearance. We got our good grades. We, you know, we got the good letter of recommendations. We got all of the things and all of the things. But now it's time for you to step up and step out. And that's why you're the new girl on the block. <laughs> that's why you're cute. And you got, you're the whole package. Again, they can compete for their game. Yeah. And so, may y'all feel the being y'all say bye. Okay, somebody Nigerian ancestors was trying to come out and say, ah. I don't know why I did that, but y'all know. You know why. So, yeah. It was so funny. So, when I was telling y'all about that dude who was hitting on that girl, and he was trying to think of every fucking African country <laughs> that girl was from, but was missing the, the most main one, right? And she was like, no, no. And I'm like, bitch, tell this nigga where you're from. <laughs> So he can stop going down this list. He's not going to stop. And so finally, she, it, and I guessed it. I was in my head guessing like, I was about to say, nigga. Nigga. <laughs> so anyway, she finally told him she was from Ghana. But she was like, it's not Nigeria. It's. <laughs> and he's like, Congo? <laughs> he did everything else, but it was just funny. It was like, damn, like, usually that's, like, the second, Ghana's usually like the second people will say after Nigeria. Like, he didn't say nothing that was popular. He didn't say no Zimbabwe, no. He said some shit like, that you just, what? <laughs> Saying a village and shit, I'm just kidding. No, but. <laughs> Saying a tribe and shit. <laughs> Everything other but. Other than that, like, <laughs> uh, anyways, Just leave it right there. Yeah, they'll come get it.
you like her? Have a good one. You know, sweaty, you know how, like, in the 90s, um, 90s characters and shit like that, and how, like, in the sitcoms and shit, they would have, like, the UPS dude, or, like, the fucking, um, the water dude, and it'd be just so ripped. This is what I wanted to say. Um, Miss Bam, that man in your DMs, that looks very delicious, and very muscular and look very like he's in the military is a scam okay it is a scam that is not a real man behind that look at how he talks he is not from where you're from that is not ladies be careful on the in, on the internet if you did not meet him in person and he don't, or he don't have like a qualifying look at Instagram, you leave that man alone. He has to have a qualifying look at Instagram. Like he has to have a blue check mark or something. Not even a blue check mark. He has to have like, he has to be like either work like in entertainment and social media spaces and realm and things like that. Like he's a content creator. And it's the real content creator site. You be mindful and watch that too. Or, what was I about to say? He's something else. Oh, or he has a good thriving Instagram. Like, he has, like, a good substantial, like, you could scroll. And it's his pictures. And you see him, you see, you see his family. You, he got highlight reels. You see him on in the camera. That's the only time. But if there's five, six, ten pictures, and they all was posted within the last couple of days, and he got like 200 followers, and the video, the, the, the photo looked a little blurry, ask those men to send you a video of themselves. But other than that, do not talk to anybody on Instagram unless you have met them in person. The tattoo dude, I met him in person. If God did not want you to meet that man, you would not meet him in person. Unless it is a celebrity or a content creator. And we all know how rare that one is. Unless you a bad bitch or some shit like that on your own social media or some shit. But other than that, you leave those scammers alone. Leave the scammers alone. Watch out for it. <laughs> Watch out for it.